the USFIRB has created general guidance videos to provide our USF and affiliate research community with guidance on a variety of IRB and Bulls IRB topics. One such topic is supporting our research community in comprehending the stages of IRB review within the Bulls IRB system. Principal investigators and study team members have indicated that they would like to better understand the different steps and stages in the Bulls IRB review process. So let's get started. Once you submit your application in the Bulls IRB system, the main study webpage is called the study workspace. Here you will find a flowchart that indicates the stages that your application is in during the review process. The flowchart also corresponds with the orange block header that is located in the upper left hand side of the study workspace. We're going to talk about each of the phases in the flowchart, what it means for your study, and the timeline for a typical Bulls IRB application submission. In the pre-submission phase, the study is awaiting official submission. Typically, this means that the study team is currently preparing the study application for submission. This includes uploading the appropriate documents within the Bulls IRB system. When you are ready to submit the application, you'll hit the Submit button on the study workspace under Next Steps. Upon submitting your application, it's going to be routed to your department or organization and or USF affiliated organization. Now they're going to review it for scientific and scholarly approval before the IRB can review your study. The timeline of this phase depends on your individual department and or the USF affiliated organization you're working with. The department and affiliated approval could take anywhere from a few days to a few weeks. Now this depends on a variety of factors such as current department workload or time of year. Again, the IRB review does not begin until department or USF affiliated approval is issued. After organizational review is complete, your study application will be routed to the IRB and the pre-review phase begins. In the pre-review phase, this is where your study is assigned a Research Compliance Administrator or an RCA. Now they're going to do a pre-review of your study to ensure your application is complete and accurate. The timeline of this phase depends on the RCA's current workload, but typically, once your application has been assigned to an RCA, the usual time frame to review and provide you with initial comments and clarification requests is about three to four days. If the RCA has edits, comments, or requests clarifications to your study or associated study documents, your study will move to the clarification requested phase. You will receive an email from Bulls IRB letting you know that the study team needs to take action on the application. You should click on the link provided in the email to navigate to the study workspace in Bulls IRB. You can review the RCA's comments in the study history and click into the actual Bulls IRB application to make any requests to changes to the application or study documents. The timeline for this phase depends on the number of changes the RCA requests of you in study documents and or your Bulls IRB application. Please respond to all comments fully and in a timely manner. After you submit your comments and edits, the study moves back to the pre-review phase and the assigned RCA reviews your study again to ensure all requested changes have been made. Please note, this process will add additional time to your IRB application review. So ensure you prioritize completing any IRB requests in a timely manner to ensure a smooth and speedy review process. After the RCA reviews the application, and if all requested changes have been made, the study moves to the IRB review phase. In this phase, your study is reviewed by the IRB chair or IRB committee depending on the study design and populations involved. In the upper left-hand corner 
of the study workspace in the orange box, you can see additional details about whether your study is in non-committee review, also known as IRB chairperson review, or committee review, also known as full board review. In most cases, your IRB application will fall into the non-committee review category and an IRB chairperson will review and approve your study within a matter of days. Please note, if your study must be reviewed by one of the full IRB committees, for example, if you are investigating a drug or working with prisoners, the review process and approval timeline will be extended. Something for you to think about. The Biomedical IRB Committee meets twice per month and the Social Behavioral IRB Committee meets once per month. You can find the IRB Committee meeting schedule on the RIC website. Scroll down and click on the IRB meeting schedule PDF. Now let's get back to the flowchart. If the IRB chairperson has edits, comments, or requests clarifications from you, your study will move to the clarification requested phase under IRB review. Similar to the RCA pre-review, you will receive an email from the Bulls IRB system letting you know that the study team needs to take action on the application. You should click on the link provided in the email to navigate to the study workspace in Bulls IRB. You can review the IRB chairperson's comments in the study history and click into the actual Bulls IRB application to make any requested changes to the application or study documents. After you submit your comments and edits, the study moves back to the IRB review phase and the IRB chairperson reviews your study again to ensure all requested changes have been made. Once acceptable, the IRB chairperson officially approves your study and the application moves to the post-review phase. Now during this short phase, the RCA will create and send you the study approval letter. You will receive an email notification once the letter is sent and the study approval letter will also be available in Bulls IRB. If your application is being reviewed by a full IRB committee, Please contact the RCA who is working on your study to discuss the study workflow and timeline in depth. When your study review is complete and the study is approved, you will be in the review complete phase and the orange block header on the top left hand side of the study workspace will say approved in most cases. If your study is determined to be not human subjects research or NHSR or exempt, your study workspace will look different. The orange block will state not human research for NHSR, not human subjects research. Now for exempt studies, the orange block will say closed. Remember, if your study is closed, your study is only closed in the Bulls IRB system. Your study is still active and you are required to perform your study activities as you indicated in your application and approved study documents. Please review your IRB approval letters for information about your study determinations and approvals. Exempt and expedited IRB approval timeline is estimated at two to three weeks, though this timeline may fluctuate based on current IRB volume, pre-IRB organizational reviews and approvals, and responsiveness of study teams. Please note, if your study must be reviewed by a full IRB committee, the average timeline is about two months. For additional support with the Bulls IRB system, please send an email to the IRB Help Desk at rsch-arc at usf.edu. You can also send an email to the General USF IRB inbox at rsch-irb at usf.edu.